surprised by new advances that we're making. Network of laboratories and safe houses controlled by Iraqi intelligence and security services. And unlike pre-war intelligence, we don't require someone just to say something. We actually need the physical evidence. Equipment suitable for continuing chemical and biological weapons research. David Kay is not going to be done with this for quite some time. David Kay wants more time. And he says it could take another six to nine months to make a definitive finding. Administration is asking Congress for hundreds of millions more. Six hundred million dollars to fund the continuing search. We have not yet found shiny, pointy things that I would call a weapon. Before we can draw firm conclusions, we need to let the Iraq survey group uh, complete its work. We were all wrong, probably, in my judgment. And that is most disturbing. It's inevitable that there will be an outside commission appointed on an issue of this gravity. We'll have public hearings, and we will get to the bottom of this, and we will let the chips fall where they may. In democracy, you have an obligation. Your obligation is to speak truthfully to the public. That's the basis of civility and our belief in our system of government. It is going to require an outside effort, probably through an outside commission, to deal with some of these very serious problems. Because I think explanations are important in a democracy. This whole episode has caught the White House completely by surprise. They've become so fearful of admitting error that they stand up and defend things that own their faith a face are untruthful. President Bush is being pounded with calls for an independent investigation into how U.S. intelligence so badly misjudged Iraq's capabilities before the war. Having the president holding all the cards, appointing all the people, having everybody accountable to him is a very bad idea. If you say you're going to war because he has weapons of mass destruction and you don't find those weapons, it is not persuasive to jump to a second argument, well, that didn't work, but here I've got a second explanation. I was asked if I would care to try to operationalize some of the comments I had made about what was going wrong in Iraq. And so I said, if you, among other things, that if you're going to do this, you had to treat it like an intelligence problem, and that is not go looking for hidden weapons.